welcome to another midweek moment with me, G.M. Thompson, the pastor of New Beginning Christian Faith Center. I know that God has blessed you and blessed you and blessed you. We all got a praise on our lips for what God is doing and what he's going to do for us. And today, I just want to share this thought with you. I don't have a particular scripture today, but this is the way God gave it to me, so I'm going to give it to you, is that stay focused on what is right in front of you. Stay focused. Don't let distractions uh, turn you away from it, but stay focused. What God has, what he has you right now, stay focused on that. If he's telling you, stay focused on him. Stay focused on and knowing that he loves you, he cares. Stay focused on what he's speaking to you right now. Stay focused on what he's doing in you right now. Don't let anything turn you around because all the things that are going on in the world and happening all around us, you can easily lose your focus and you can get off track and think about something else and wonder about something else and see how you're going to figure this out. But he said, stay focused. Don't let distractions get you out of sync, but stay focused what is right in front of you right now. And this is what he wants you to do. Just to stay there. Just think and say, God, um, 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 my focus is, this is what you said. I'm focusing. I'm focusing on it. I, I am strong. I am not weak. I, I can overcome. I'm victorious. So whatever, stay, stay focused and, and watch what he will continue to do in your life because you're staying focused on with what is right in front of you. You're not thinking about what this person is doing, what this person over here is doing, what they're saying, uh, their reaction, but you stand focused for you. Now is the time for you to focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. Be strong yourself. Know who you are for yourself. Know what you've come in the world to become and do for yourself. Know your goals, your dreams as you're reaching for, for yourself. Stay focused. So sometimes if we don't stay focused, all these things will just take us over and we'll forget all about ourselves. We forget all about what is right in front of us. We will we will forget all about what we're supposed to be doing, how we're supposed to be doing it, because our focus is on all these distractions and they just got us all messed up in our emotions and our thoughts and we start thinking different. We start having different ideas. We start having imaginations. All these things will start taking us over because we did not stay focused with what was right in front of us for this time, for this moment, this hour. Just a little tidbit. Just want you to think about it. Stay focused on what's in front of you. And you watch what God will do for you because you made a decision to stay focused for yourself. Help yourself. Do for yourself. Be strengthened yourself. Love yourself. Stay focused. We're going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. We give you glory for great is thy faithfulness. God, we thank you for you are God above all others. There is none like you. Father, we thank you today for loving us with an everlasting love. Father, we just give you glory and honor that we know that you are real. You have all power in your hands and nothing is too hard for you, God. Father, we thank you that we fully understand that we must walk by faith and not by sight. God, we got to stay, God. Oh, God, focus on what you have for our lives. Stay focused on what is right in front of us for us. And God, we just praise your name for helping up your people today, every man, woman, boy, and girl, to know they've been birthed in the world for a purpose. They have an assignment that you want them to fulfill. But if they get off track with all these distractions and not stay focused. We got, it comes a time in our lives that God wants us just to stay focused right at that moment, what we're doing. We don't focus on anything else. And Father, we thank you, God. I believe you sent this word for somebody. It doesn't fit everybody. No, but it fits somebody and it's for somebody that this is what you want them to do. And God, I thank you that they will hear this word and they will just take heed to it and they will stay focused for what is right 
right in front of them for their blessing to come to them because they are walking in obedience to what you said. And Father, I thank you and I give you praise that you're catching these words and cause them to manifest. In the name of Jesus, God, you be glorified, you be magnified because we know you love us and we love you back because we appreciate you, the time you take up with us. We appreciate and in spite of what we do, when we mess up, you're still there to help us. You're still there to deliver us. You're still there to get us back on track. And Father, we thank you for that because God, we want to have be the children that have true repentant hearts and not keep doing the same thing that we should not do over and over again. But God, we want to do it your way. So we want to stay focused right now as you have stated for us to do. In the name of Jesus, we thank and we praise you. Okay. Be blessed. See you next time for another midweek moment.